Hey guys, I was at Costco today. It looks like they brought out their cruiser bikes for the year now. Um, it's the 2018 version of this. These are Fito bikes and the model year is 2018. It costs $99, which is an awesome value because of these two bikes, basically there's a men's and women's version. Um, both of them have really long handlebars, great slick tires, uh, semi-slick tires for you know the pavement and you know riding along the beach or for relaxing, you know, sitting down biking. And they look really, really good. The black, the black one is the male's version or man's, men's version, which has the geometry is a little bigger and more upright than the female's version. But at the same time, the the center, the um, the triangle is actually a little taller as well, so it's hard to get on if you know if you, if you can't get on very well. But overall, it's pretty comfortable. It has semi slick tires and matches that um, the matte black finish, which is really cool. Um, everything else is black too, even the, up down to the hubs and spokes are actually painted black. As you can see that the, the tires and stuff, um, all black, shredders revolve, and it's also um, bolt-on for the for the axle as well. The tires are flipped to 50 PSI, which is nice, uh, so it's nice and comfortable. 26 by 1 and 125 inch tires, which is nice because those are almost mountain bike tires. You can actually swap them out if you needed to and easily replaceable. The geometry is really beautiful. Uh, nice welds, it's all aluminum. Well, most of it's aluminum and um, basically there's a guard for the drivetrain. The drivetrain itself is actually a coaster brake one, uh, one speed drive, which is very low maintenance and everything like that. Um, the pedals are simple and big, which is easy to put on and easy to ride. It does have a kickstand as well that you could actually take off. Uh, it just bolted on again. The seat itself is extremely comfortable. It has springs on it for suspension, as well as with the tires. You know, it's probably very, very, very comfortable right just sitting down and biking without even standing on this thing. Um, I did not see um, in the back there are uh, rack brazons, but I, there was no uh, brazons on the top for a rack. So another thing is that the seat post is actually a bolt. So you really don't have to deal with the um, seat post over quickly. So after you adjust it once, lock it in and you're pretty much done for the rest of the bike and just you know, biking. No need to worry about someone taking your bike seat or anything else or your tires because there's no quick release on any of these bikes. The fem the women's bike is actually lower, which is actually nice. And the geometry is a little um, more uh, pedal forward. And it was just easy to sit down and just pedal without even having to get it up. There's a lot of flower decals around it. And this mint green, it actually looks really, really nice uh, in person. There's basically mint green, chrome, and you know, and brown for the seats and handlebars, which makes it really classy looking. I like the a lot of chrome, and I also like the white wall tires. Uh, 26 inch by 2.125 inch, just like the male's man's version um, of the bike, as well as chrome everything. The hubs and everything else has chrome on it, so is the drivetrain. Um, the chain, of course, isn't chrome, but overall, pretty nice design. Uh, the seat is it's the same thing as the guy's seats, or the male, male's version, It's except it's brown. And it looks kind of like fake, it's kind of pseudo-leather. And it has two reflections on the back, just like the uh, male's version as well, and a Botan seat post um, lock. So basically, you don't have to deal with it after you set it. Just bring it to a bike strap, install it, and you're pretty much set. Everything else is chrome too, chrome spokes, chrome uh, drivetrain, and, you know, Botan for everything. As you can see, there's nuts everywhere. So, yeah, even down to the kickstand that could be removed with a, you know, it could be removed for the quicksand. Anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, and all the fun stuff if you like this video. This is pretty interesting. The next thing is that the tools required on the box is a lot of stuff, especially that torque wrench. You probably, if you need all those tools, you probably should probably bring it to a bike shop to have it, um, you know, assembled or place the assembly and then bring it to a bike shop for tuning. But for 31 pounds, it's not a lot for a cruiser bike, which is nice. It's kind of straightforward and simple. And this is probably an all aluminum bike, seeing that it's only about 30 something pounds, you know, or 31 pounds. So anywho, guys, uh, please like, subscribe, and all the fun stuff for more Costco finds. Stay tuned for more. See ya, and stay tuned for more.